How many of you use either the handshake interrupt or an arm catalepsy induction? Just one, two, three, four. How many of you use it a lot? So you were in my class. <laughs> okay. So we're going to play. Now, uh, not last year, but the year before, I had a big room. There was a lot of people. And I asked that question. And, you know, 95% of them didn't ever use them. And I understand why. As someone who trains therapists, um, there's certain things that are just incongruent with their normal therapeutic style. So I have created variations where number one, there's no way to fail. Number two, it's gentle. You're not turning into some, you know, bully street hypnotist. Um, and they're, you know, they're also building expectation and allowing people to rehearse. So we're going to go over a bunch of fun variations. And at the end of that workshop, where everyone was playing, I mean everyone, I said, now, raise your hand if you feel you're going to take this with you into your practice. And everyone, there's going to be a variation you're going to like. OK? And it'll also get us warmer until we can turn down the air. I was going to teach a very different lesson. And I'm like, no, no, no. We need to actually move. So first, let's start off with basic. Now, you guys are doing this. I'm just doing this to get warm. The basic, the basic uh, handshake induction, which I learned from Richard Bandler, is not actually the handshake induction of Milton Erickson. The two are different. And they're, I mean, all of these are variations, but they're different enough to, you know, to what I think instigate very different types of uh, trance induction. So let's go over some of the basics, and then I'll show you my variations. All right? So the basic one, who wants to play? Someone here? Yeah? OK, hold on. He's right here, and then we'll, we'll, we'll do a, a more thorough demo. So if you can see here, the basic one is always this. You go to shake hands, but you don't. You go look at your hand and notice the changing focus of your eyes. As you notice, there it is, the changing focus. Something interesting is going to happen. It's as if a door is open, and you have a choice to step through. There it is. So allow yourself to close your eyes and go a little deep. And the thing is, this one, it's a very rapid induction. So once you go deep inside and you have this learning from the inside out, it gets easier and easier for you to use this with other people. And once I show you the more gentler versions, you're going to really, really enjoy these. So I want you to smile and come back to now. As I shake your hand, there we go. Thanks. Wasn't that cool? Yes. And OK, excellent. So as you saw, the standard one is, is, is a little abrupt, but I feel like you should know it anyway. And it's very simple. You go to shake hands. I'm going to do it in slow motion. And you don't. So if you can't see, get to where you can, but keep it low. Got it? You go to shake hands. And your other hand comes up, and you say, look at your hand. <coughs> Notice the changing focus of your eyes. That's Bandler's opener. And somehow I practiced it enough 20 years ago where it just stuck. And it's the first thing that comes to mind. That's one of the variations. And you keep talking, right? So it's just the standard. Now, do I, do I teach a few and let you practice? Yes. So that's one. Milton Erickson did something different. He would shake hands, and he would shake hands and then not let go. And then he would slowly, as he's smiling and making you feel like, OK, it's a little weird, but he's, he's a nice man. <laughs> and as he's smiling and you're feeling good, then he would just start to kind of do this very this subtle, ambiguous, you're not quite sure. 
whether to let go or not, or where your hand is, my hand is. But meanwhile, he's just doing this, and then he'll start to talk about how you can go inside. And when he does that, maybe he might say, you might want to close your eyes now. And then you can go deep inside. And he might just still play there, where it's ambiguous enough where you're not quite sure what. Or he might just do a subtle move like this, which is a nonverbal suggestion for that hand to stay up. A subtle move. But it's kind of a little more gentle. It's not really in your face. But he's learning more than he thinks, even now, even though you know these. Right? So the two are very different. The Erickson one, you shake hands and then you stop. Now in that stopping, the only thing I'm, that's holding up the hand is this finger. See, I could do that. And at a certain point, I'm going to feel that her hand is holding itself up. And what you can do, you can just, as I said yesterday, embrace the weird, right? And I can, Erickson used to look right past you as if he's looking right at you and smile. And he would talk about all this stuff. And then he would ultimately give them permission to close your eyes. And when they do, that's right they can drop inside faster than you think because you've interrupted a pattern. A handshake is an automatic pattern. And when you stop midway through, they don't have a program running. So you tell them what they want to feel good and you're learning and all of this is easy and you can go deep inside and learn something new. That's right, and come back out. So those are two. They're the standard ones. And I want you to practice them so that you get a feel for them. Now here's how I want you to practice. We're going to stand up, and not quite yet. When you do, you're just going to go from one person to the next to the next. I want you to mess it up at least three times. OK? And then you'll, you'll find your way. So first one is this. You guys are so easy. <laughs> the first one is this. You, you want to stand up? Just to show you again. First one is uh, the Bandler one, which is you go to shake hands. We go to shake hands. And instead of touching, right, I go, look at your hand. And notice the changing focus of your eyes. Now, I've literally subtly got my hand here. This is a nonverbal suggestion for it to stay up. But it's not really holding it. I'll talk about how he has a choice to go inside. And when you choose that, you can close your eyes. But it's always your choice. But there's definitely that feeling, and then you'll notice how quickly you can drop in. It's almost like we open a door, and you invite them to step through. And as soon as they do, they're stepping right into trance. It's that fast and you're learning, even now, more than you think. And then I shake your hand and you come back to now with a smile. Wasn't that good? Yeah, I like it. So that is, once again, the variation is this. Look at your hand. Now, I typically don't do it that abrupt anymore, okay? I typically will do something a little more gentle because I've been training therapists for so many years. So I might go like this and then gently Look at your hand and join that. And notice the changing focus. Notice I don't put it up here. I was taught it was an abrupt pattern interrupt. I thought that's what was needed, but it's not. The pattern interrupt happens when you don't shake the hand. So if you go like this and you go, look at your hand, it's a little more gentle when you notice the changing focus. Right? It's a little easier. I liked it a lot better. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a little less. So I want you to play with both until you find one that feels better for you. So you go like that, and you just say, look at your hand. Notice the changing focus of your eyes. And then you continue talking. So you can say, you might begin to notice a feeling of relaxation. That's an easy one. I don't know how you relax, but I know you can. So there's that. That's the Bandler. Erickson was different. Ready? 
but, but you see, we've already got this thing going on. Yeah. So you put your arm down, shake, shake it off. <laughs> so Erickson would shake hands, and he would be like, pleased to meet you. And then he would stop. Now, at the stop, there's a, a, a little jerk that I do, right? Mm -hmm. But it's, it's just a handshake, but the, he doesn't let go. And in that moment, your unconscious mind is like, this is, she's interrupted an automatic pattern. There's a little bit of space. So I could just say, why don't you go into trance? That's right. Now watch. That's right. You can feel it. It's almost like until he decides to go, as your um, legs are strong and sturdy and will hold you up, as he decides to go, you can see how quickly he drops in. There's something interesting about this. Now, Erickson, he, sometimes he would right, bend the wrist up a little bit, which is also a nonverbal suggestion. I could talk about having a magnetic pull, right? And the, you know, from your forehead to your hand, pulling that hand even closer. We could have that happen. So there's all sorts of variations we can do. But for now, I want you to play with learning this, right? So the basic idea, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> The basic idea is a handshake is one pattern. When you stop midway, it's as if the brain goes up and you fill it, right? So it, look at your hand, notice the changing focus of your eyes. That was the one I practiced from Bandler when I first started, I'm like 18 years ago or something. Um, but anything will do, some people just go, and now you can sleep, close your eyes. Or just close your eyes, let go. Okay, play. I want you to mess it up with three people. That means that you're not gonna spend, look at how quickly I did all of that, okay? You're gonna get up, you're gonna do this with three different people. Both variations, and then I'll show you the fun ones. <laughs> All right. So those are the two basics that you know that that most people teach. Um, when we come back uh, after lunch, I'll show you uh, some 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 easier segues in. But even with these, I'm going to show you how to use it. Now it's very rare that I just use this as a hi. What's your name? The only, no, seriously, people come into your office, you're not going to be like, eh, I'm right. <laughs> but I will say that I've done it three different times, but it was really, as, I, as I've said before, it was, it was defensive. You know, the, the one time I did it, the first time I did that was when I was seeing this uh, client sent by a psychiatrist who had given me, this is before I knew enough to stop the psychiatrist from giving me an entire history. They like to do that. I'm like, hmm, it took that client 10 years to open up to you, to give you that information that you're just giving me over the phone. Like, it felt wrong. So now I just stop them. I say, I got two questions and only two questions. Are they a danger to themselves or me? That's it. Then I, that's it, all I need to know. But anyway, I knew too much about this woman, and when I went to the waiting room to get her, it was like she just sat there, she just like sucked the light out of the room. And I just like, I went and I said, um, you know, so-and-so, whatever, and she was like, <sighs> and I thought, oh, hi, come, come, come follow me, and I'm hearing her deep sigh as she's following me to my office, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> like, I have an hour to spend with this woman, and I just couldn't bear the thought. Sorry, I know that sounds callous, but I'm not a therapist for a reason. Um, so she was following me, and I could just hear it, so she turned around, and I said, oh, I'm sorry, your name, and then I went, and look at the hand, and da 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 and I slowly backed her into the chair, and I just started talking. And as you go inside, you and I know that you've been through a lot. And blah, 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 let your unconscious mind begin to offer you certain ideas that will change everything. 
And then I didn't have to listen to her for the whole session. Was <laughs> <laughs> she came out, she was like, wow. That's what she needed. That's what I needed, truth be told. Anyway, it's rare that I will use it like that. Typically, the way that I introduce it is I'm talking about trance, and I'm saying, you know, there's so many different ways of going into hypnosis. We're going to explore a few, but there's quick and fast ways that have to do with interrupting a pattern. You know, we all have these habituated patterns, so we can interrupt them, like even a handshake will do. You want me to show you? I've never had a client go, no! They go, sure. So we're still sitting down and I'll say, watch, it's pretty interesting. I'm going to go to shake your hand and then I'm going to say, look at your hand. And then I'm just going to say, and it's almost as if I open that door. And you can choose to step through it, right? So we set it up in a gentle way of, oh, there's all these different ways that we can go into trance. If I wanted to do the Ericksonian one, the same thing. I would just say sometimes when you shake hands, because you're expecting me to let go and I'm not, your brain does a little pause. And this is where I say, relax now. I got it? <laughs> so that would be a way to introduce it. When we come back from lunch, I'll, I'll show you the better ways to, to do something that is almost like a rehearsal of trance. And it lets people just relax into rehearsing it so that they feel that they're practicing before they go in.